In this video, we'll be looking at how to draw a side-by-side -side bar graph using a contingency table. In the previous video, we looked at the results of surveying a group of people who were either male or female, or who were Democrat, Republican, or Independent voters. We counted the number of people in each category and placed our counts in a contingency table. To determine the variables, think of questions asked. One of our variables in this study is political parties. We put these categories on a line that will ultimately be our x-axis of our graph. Our other variable is gender. We determine a color that will be used for each of the categories of our second variable. In this example, purple will represent the number of males and orange will represent the number of females. Once you've determined how to display each of your variables, it's time to set up your frequencies on the y-axis. Since our highest frequency in this example is 32, let's count by fives. Remember that we must pick an axis scale and stick to it. Now we're ready to draw our bars. Each political party will have two bars, one for males and one for females. There are 20 male Democrats and 22 female Democrats. 21 male Republicans and 16 female Republicans. And finally, there are 19 male independents and 32 female independents. Looking at a side-by-side -side bar graph can often lead to some pretty interesting interpretations of our data. Here's what we've learned in this video. A contingency table gives us the information needed to make a side-by-side -side bar graph. Categories for one variable are placed on the x-axis. Categories for the other variable are represented by different color bars. Frequencies are placed on the y-axis.